Uh, speaking of robots, <laughs> I'm sure you took some joy in Microsoft's Tay AI. Yes, they did not see that coming, did they? <laughs> Wednesday, Microsoft. But what the thing that I thought was interesting, in Microsoft's blog post, they pointed out that they have had a similar artificial intelligence on social networks in China for a long time. Never had any problems, <laughs> but they made a kind of fundamental error when they put Tay on Twitter. Tay is not. I mean, let's face it. This is not an AI breakthrough. This is Eliza, no. right? You remember no. Eliza? The oh. artificial intelligence you'd query in a chat room, oh. and it would just kind of parrot back to you what you said. It wasn't smart. And I think Tay is very similar to that. They made the big mistake they make, besides putting her on Twitter, yeah. was giving them, uh, Twitter, a command to repeat after me. You could say, Tay, repeat after me. So almost instantly, people started saying nasty, rotten, horrible things and saying, repeat after me. Yeah. And well, why is why would Microsoft be surprised that that's what, what would happen? I think possibly they were running this experiment in China, and online discourse in China it's is very, very, very different. Not to mention the fact that you've got Big Brother looking over your shoulder. That always has an impinging effect on yeah. what people say. So I mean, I think it was yeah they they didn't quite <laughs> estimate that 4chan and the rest of them will get into this. And they just made a complete dog's breakfast out of the entire thing. It was ridiculous. Everybody knows you don't let the internet vote. I know, I know. Right? This is the worst thing you can do. The internet is... And I don't even think... I think you, you know, people are making all sorts of sweeping generalizations about how horrible Americans are versus how... I don't know. This is, ki <laughs> this is kids. Yeah. If you... If, if The first thing a kid does, you say, okay, let's show you a basic uh, 10... Uh, spell fart, go to 10, and then they do it, right? This is what kids do. And this you remember when calculators first came out and everyone boobies. was spelling boobies on it? Boobies. Yeah. You know, it's not it's, this surprising, is nor is it in, you know, in any way depressing. It's exactly what you'd expect. And the only thing that's sad is that Microsoft, which thought it was just going to get a big PR benefit from what is frankly a dopey AI. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing special. No. Instead, got a, a little bit of a black eye. They apologized on Friday. They pulled Tay within, I think, 24 hours. They said we're going to put her back. All you have to do to put her back is take out the repeat after me. Yeah. Duh. And by the way, all the bad things that you saw in the press that Tay said were repeat after me. Yes, exactly. If you can get it to say it, that gives you an instant headline. Right. Not that I did that myself, of course. Did you? Didn't. Come no. on. No, I didn't actually cover the Tay thing, so I was up to my neck in Google AI systems, which were being discussed this week. A little so more sophisticated, I'm a sure. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. they've actually got this business ready rather than publicity ready. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this was about publicity. This is like, yes. well, IBM's got Watson. Quick, guys, what could we do? Yeah, well, I could put an uh, AI on Twitter. They were seeking to capitalize on the on the fallout from the Go game last week, and there's been an awful lot of talk yeah. about AI. We're and getting like, scooped here, guys. Someone was just like, oh, no, we need some publicity for our AI system. Let's put it online. What could go wrong? And, well, it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Remember Microsoft had a, a woman that you would query, what was her name, chat room? Oh. That you would query and she, they would get video and she'd go, she had attitude and she'd go, D -d -d -d. this was when Microsoft was falling behind in uh, in search. Was this in the early 2000s? Yeah, what was her name? They'll oh. come up They'll come up with the name of it, I'm sure the chat room remembers this. Because I remember on, I uh, say, on the TV show, we had her search for me and she said something very rude. <laughs> so <laughs> I w if I can find it, I will find that video clip. Um, speaking of asking the internet to vote, your okay, people. Okay, and you were going to bring this up. Your people. What is NERC? The national. What is this? Is a UK. They <coughs> built a, a research vessel yeah. to explore the polar regions. Yes, this is the the research council's vessel, which is going to be used down south. They um, made the catastrophic mistake of asking the internet to name it, and the name is. I'm sure you're dying to say this one, Leo. Bodie McBoatface. Yeah. But that's not binding. No, no, you, you'd have to be mad to make this sort of thing I need binding. Some, I, need a, I need some British help. Who's Henry Worsley? I've never even heard okay. of the chap, to be honest. David, David Attenborough, Attenborough, National Treasure. Yeah, a documentarian. <laughs> it's bloody cold it's bloody here, cold that's here. Well, it's a polar Usain boat. Now, you got to yeah. like that one. Uh, my favourite kiss is coming coming up uh, further on down Bodemus the line. Bodemus Prime. I like Bodie big McBoat. boats and I cannot lie. I that's love it. That's just genius. Yeah. Yeah, but, so um, needless to say, NERC will not use any Yeah, of these. Britain, it is a city place at times, but yes. <laughs> they suggested Endeavour. Yeah, you know, I know, it's a good sort of, oh, we shall go forward. And Endeavour was a famous uh, sort of polar Shackleton's explorer. Boat, right? Yes, yeah. indeed. Performing one yeah. of the great acts of seamanship in British yeah. history and getting his crew back safely. But this one was just like, oh, no, my people are not being represented well here. Let me see. I think it was Ms. Dewey. 
Ms. Dewey was Microsoft's search. And here is the video of Ms. Dewey. And gentlemen, so they searched for in me. In this corner, weighing 157 pounds, the world's loneliest man. That was her result for me? Oh, good grief. So, Sorry, I was getting a flashback of nostalgia looking at the interface. That going, was 2007. Wow. <laughs> so I, I feel like this is not, like Microsoft hasn't learned anything. Oh, no. Here, here it is from, uh, this was, uh, Callie and I did this on uh, Call for Help. Exactly. Yeah. They're trying to jump ahead of Google mm -hmm. and uh, see, you know, kind of come up with their own idea of what the, the future for me. will Let's be. Just see. Okay. I just, I, well, I, you know, I know that sounds vain, but I know what the search <laughs> results should be for my own name. Exactly. Name. So she thinks for a while, for a little bit. Ms. Dewey. And then... There's a reason why they call the TV the idiot box, and I think I found it. Oh, oh my God. Burned, burned, Miss Dewey burned me. <sighs> but I'm glad to say I'm still standing, oh, Okay, well, and Miss Dewey is long gone. Yes. <laughs>